Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a cash unstuffing for the fourth and final week of January. So I'm going to be unstuffing our cash envelopes, sinking funds, you know the drill if you've seen these videos before. And I'm also going to be going over all of the expenses and placing stickers down on my monthly spread. I will leave timestamps as I always do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go over all of the expenses. I'm tracking from the 25th through the 31st. And after today, this spread will be completely filled and we can move on to February. I just wanted to show you guys a, a little sneak peek and that's gonna be coming up sometime this week. I will have the video for the first week of February, which is gonna be from the 1st to the 7th, but I'm already getting ahead of myself. So on the 25th, there was a few transactions. The first one, I already have them pre-filled out here. The first one, I made an Amazon purchase for $24. I purchased some doggy pads for my dogs. I normally purchase them at Sam's Club, but they had been out and it was good that they were out because Amazon actually had them cheaper, like per pad. It was cheaper to buy it on Amazon than it was Sam's Club. So that was a good purchase and that's going to be coming out of pets. And then we had some takeout Popeyes for $54. That's going to be coming out of the takeout envelope. Brian was craving the chicken sandwich. We hardly ever eat Popeyes. Do you guys like Popeyes? I'm okay. I think it was good. I also got the chicken sandwich. It's kind of like 15, 20 minutes away from where we live. So it isn't something that I care to be driving that far off. That's far for me. I don't drive very much. So 20 minutes, it's, um, it's too much being in the car for me. So that was $54.00. Actually, Popeyes is on the wrong date. I'm already off to a bad start. Hopefully I don't ruin my nails because I painted them early this morning. So this, the Popeyes was, was for the 26th. So there was only one transaction on Wednesday and then on Thursday, there was also only this transaction. So $54 on Thursday. And then on the 25th, I had my kids' dentist appointments. So we were out and about for a little bit. On Friday the 27th, we had a few transactions. So I went to Cardenas, which is a grocery store. I spent $68 there. I completely forgot why I went. Obviously, I purchased some groceries. That is coming out of the grocery envelope. But there was a reason why I went and I ended up buying more things, which is why I don't like to just go spontaneously to the grocery store because then I end up buying so many other things that I didn't even plan on buying. And it usually happens at Cardenas. But anyway, I am trying for the month of February to be a lot better. And I actually have been. I'll talk about those transactions in the next cash unstuffing. And then I also went to Little Caesars and spent $26. That's going to be coming out of takeout. Of course, I went to the grocery store and then I went to buy takeout, right? For this week, it's going to be a trend of takeout, so don't judge me. <laughs> and I also made another Amazon purchase for $25 and we have ADT, which is a security system. And there had been this really annoying beeping sound and it was coming from the battery of like, I guess where the system is, which is in one of the rooms upstairs, it was always beeping. So we finally purchased the battery just to replace it. Brian just replaced it. We could have called ADT so they can replace it themselves, but honestly, that was probably gonna take even more time waiting around and having that annoying beeping sound. It wasn't all day, it was just like during the morning for a while and you had to i had to come down and press the star key i mean the star button and it would stop but then the next day it would be the same thing so that is coming out of home maintenance and then we also did um have to book i guess the for our vacation we had to book the shuttle that is going to be taking us from the 
airport to the resort so that was $16 and that will be coming out of vacation and then my eldest stepson he had his um passport appointment so for the passport and the USPS fee they charge a processing fee that was $235 and we did expedite it so it was a little bit more expensive and that's also going to be coming out of vacation that's pretty much it for Friday it was a high spending day but most of the stuff is going to be coming out of sinking funds and by the way if you are new here I have a color key here of what all of these colors mean for purple it uh, means bills for debts it's red cash envelopes is all of my cash envelopes i track them in pink um the only i only differentiate by putting a little abbreviation here as you can see like this one says to for takeout and that's just how i like to differentiate between envelopes and then green is sinking funds um this blue color is my personal sinking funds and then this orange color is extra expenses so they're just extra expenses that are not on a month-to-month -month basis i like to track in this orange color and then the gray is our buffer our checking account buffer you do not have to be crazy like me and have all of these categories and colors but um i just like to track this way because it makes it fun it makes it colorful and i get to play with stickers which is my favorite so on the 28th saturday the 28th I'm telling you guys, we went to Wingstop and spent $54 there. It's going to be coming out of takeout. And I don't know if you've been doing the math, but in takeout, I, I know I don't have enough in that envelope. So we're going to have to figure it out once I unstuff the envelopes. And yeah, it was a trend. One, two, three days of takeout. But on Friday, I mean, on Saturday, my sister came because this is the day that we were supposed to have my daughter and myself my birthday celebration but it ended up being pushed back until february so she still wanted to come on the 28th because she won't be here on the 11th she's actually gonna go to the dr that girl is always booking flights and all over the place by the way she does the cash envelope system as well so it works a few years ago she wouldn't have thought that she would be you know just traveling and going places and saving so much money but she's a testament to this system working so anyway yeah so she came so we ended up eating wing stop because she was here and my kids wanted it and then i also went to target it was an pickup order for 21 dollars. that's going to be coming out of household but my sister was with me and of course she was a bad influence and she wanted to go inside Target, so I ended up spending a little bit more money, $60. But I only bought, I think, a mascara for myself. It was the Princess Essence Mascara. I still haven't even tried it, so I'm going to have to try it because I know it's like supposedly really good. And then I did purchase some swimsuits for my daughter. So technically, I it was money well spent. That is going to be coming, most of it's coming out of vacation and a couple dollars are, are going to be coming out of personal and that's it for saturday on sunday i made an online purchase on amazon for 15 dollars. i have a little why well, i always have story times this day which is what i i went to pick up an order and i bought the cerave face wash and i bought a couple other things mainly like toiletries so they gave me the wrong size CeraVe. Um, I always order the biggest one because it is just more cost efficient. It's cheaper per ounce. Yes, I am crazy like that and I do price comparison. So I ended up having to return it because they didn't have it in stock. And I purchased it on Amazon because it was cheaper. But the good thing is that I came back on the 29th to Target and I returned it then. And they gave me a $10 gift card for my inconvenience. So it ended up working out. So um, yeah, like I said, $15 for the face wash. And they have Jack in the Box there. And I got myself something. And that's going to be coming out of personal. Do you guys ever do that when you're alone? 
you end up buying yourself some takeout and you don't share it with anybody else or let anybody else know that you bought some that was me i'm guilty and on monday it was a no spend day the only no spend day of this week oh it's crooked let me fix that and the last day the 31st brian took my kids to 7-eleven and spent 26 dollars and that's going to be coming out of miscellaneous i always remember having those gas station trips with my dad so whenever brian has them with uh, my kids it's always like a nice reminder you know and you used to you know you always take advantage of your dad when you're at the grocery store i mean at the gas station or at a convenience store so that's pretty much it for the month for the week i let me go ahead and update this no spend which is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine nine no spends it's a lot better than december i didn't hit my 10 no spend days but that's okay i already pre-filled all of the totals for everything for the month i'm not going to be going through the totals like the monthly totals today in this video i think i'm going to do a separate video for that just because um it takes a long time if i have it in one video so i will be going through all the numbers and everything i'll give you guys a sneak peek here it is how oh, everything is broken down and yeah i'm gonna have a se separate video for this i will be going over these numbers i will also be going over um my budget book how the actuals and income in um bills and everything how that looked and i think that's oh i'm gonna also be doing a debt update i'll be doing quite a few things but i just want to have it separate and then I also did the totals per week here. So I'll show you guys how that looks as well. Don't read that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> not, not in this video. So that's pretty much it. And now I'm going to go ahead and get to unstuffing all of our envelopes. One more thing, because I don't think I've ever done it on camera. I always come back and I check all of the transactions off. I've never done it on camera, so I'm going to do it right now because I already made I already made the payment to our credit card. So when I unstuff these envelopes, it's pretty much just to replenish the checking account um, because I try to pay it when the week is over. So that's pretty much it. Now I can get to the unstuffing. OK, so I have some change here. I have thirty dollars, I believe, 10, 20. And yeah, these are 10 singles just to make it a lot easier i do have my spending tracker here and we are going to be unstuffing 631 dollars today all the transactions were made with my credit card so there wasn't any cash transactions or anything that was added into a paycheck budget and in the back i have it broken down here you see it was there was one no spend Cash envelopes, I spent $302 out of there. Out of our sinking funds, we spent $329. And then this is just a little note, which I will be going over our debt update and all that stuff in another video, going over all the totals and everything. I did mention that when I was going over the transactions. This is just to let me know that there was a Wells Fargo transaction that was added, and this is for our vacation. I won't get too much into it today, but I did want to have it in this note section just because it did happen during this week. This is not an expense that will be unstuffed today. It is added to our current uh, debt balance, but it will be paid off pretty soon. And now I'm going to go ahead and start with, let me start with sinking funds since there's only two envelopes. And um, we can go over the cash envelopes after. So home maintenance, $25. And this was, like I mentioned, for the, the battery for our home security system. So here are 25 here. And now we have remaining 1,000, 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 650. 700, 720, 740, 757, 57, 70, 80, 795, 2800. So $2,800 left here. 
Now let's go over to vacation. And we're going to be taking out $304. So one, two, three. Let me see if I can get smaller bills. One, two, three, four, five, one hundred. 200, 300, and four dollars. So I have a five here. One, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 305. And I'm gonna give a dollar back. And in vacation, now we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 405, 10. 15, 16, 1,416 dollars. Did I count that right? Yes, I did. I had considered just to take the 810 dollars out of here. And honestly, I could have done either one because we are going to be using this money for the excursions. So I could have technically taken out the money today and then for the excursions added it to the uh, Wells Fargo um, credit card balance. But I just decided to do it this way, just because I guess this balance is a lot smaller than the excursions are going to be. Bless you, mommy. And this amount just makes me feel a lot better than the excursion amount is. So that's pretty much it for sinking funds. By the way, this Wells Fargo credit card, it is zero interest currently up until December 2023. If you have been here, you guys have heard the spiel like... So many times you're probably tired of it already but um if you are new this is technically zero interest debt and we will we do have a plan to have it paid off way before december for gas nothing miscellaneous 26 dollars. so we have 30. i'm gonna give one two three four back this is probably going to come right back out just because in takeout we are we are underwater there. Let me check these off. Pets, $24. I have $25. I have one left. This envelope is going to be going away for the first cash stuffing. I'm just going to get rid of it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And somebody did suggest for me to use this envelope as like emergency type of situation for my pets, so for my dogs. So I think I am going to gonna just transfer this to another envelope, which is probably going to, I mean, another binder, which is more than likely going to be this one here. For now, I'm just going to put it to the side and I will put this in household. I'm adding those two together. Might as well, since we're here. Household, I'm going to take out $36, so 20 40 let me see, oh, I have 36 35 6 so now there's 21 let me add the $1, I have a new sheet, I just, I like to keep them a little bit longer than I should, and let me add the $1 for pets. Today, I'm just going to put the 31st, even though we're already like at the 6th of um, February, but that's fine. So I'm just putting pets. All right, we are good there. And let me check that off and also pets. Beauty, there was no expense this week. Kids, there wasn't an expense. For personal, I have my wallet here it's fourteen dollars so i have 15 and this is for we're gonna get i don't like to fold crispy dollar bills oh well so that's 21 left that was for the mascara and the jack-in-the-box that i sneaked and ate in the car <laughs> okay so we're done there personal i mean take out you know what let's just skip that one till the end for groceries 68 dollars so i have 50 77 
Let's do 70. I don't know why my brain is not computing right now. I did 70, right? So I need $2 back. And now we have nine left, but more than likely I'm going to be using this to pay whatever is left over. I mean, whatever I'm short in takeout. So we are done here for takeout. It's a total of 134, 134 minus 50, 70, 85, minus 85. I have to pull $49 from somewhere. So I might end up using the checking account buffer for some of it. We'll see. So we have nine here. So let's take out nine. Now that's 40. And let's see, where can we take it from? Miscellaneous, let's take out the four that are here. So minus four, we have 36. This is where having the whole 30 would have came in handy, but I think, I think I'm gonna use my personal you know what? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to use the kids envelope just because they're the ones I wanted wing stuff that one night. So minus 30. And now we're down to $6. Let's see. Huh. All right, those $6, I guess I will take them from my personal spending. So I have 21, I need five, 15 back. So I'm gonna get a 10, let me get the one that I folded. And a five, so I have minus six and we have it covered. I have 15 left now. I will have to update some of these trackers just because I don't I don't update where I'm going to take where I am short from until I do these videos. So I will have to go through some of these and update because they're zeroed out. So we are done unstuffing our envelopes. Let me get the, how much was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the ten, I think it was... This was the change, so I'm gonna take it out because that's separate. And this should be $631. I am not here today. <laughs> okay, so 100, 200, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 40, 60, 260. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71, plus 71. We have the $631. Like I mentioned while I was going through tran the transactions, I already made the payment. So now this is money is pretty much just to replenish our checking account buffer. That's pretty much gonna be it for this video, you guys. I feel very distracted today. It's pretty windy today, so all I hear is a clanking of my wind chimes outside my door hopefully you guys weren't able to hear them the whole video because they've literally been chiming the whole entire time so if you made it up until this point go ahead and leave me i don't know is, is there a wind emoji go ahead and leave me a wind emoji or a blowing emoji i think i've seen that one but anyway go ahead and do that or just put the word wind in the comments to let me know that you made it this far and as always, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.